Now in this lesson we're looking at line graphs. We'll look at an example. The temperature was recorded every three hours at Springwood over a 24-hour period. And the line graph below shows the results. Now let's have a bit of a look at this line graph. Notice the horizontal axis is the time axis. All right, now generally when a graph involves time, it will be along the horizontal axis. And in this case, the vertical axis measures the temperature, and it's in degrees Celsius. Great, our first question, what was the temperature at 9 a.m.? So we look for 9 a.m. there. We go directly up to the line, and then we move across. And we can see that hits the temperature at 15. It is degrees Celsius, so we make sure that we write the units 15 degrees Celsius. Excellent. Our second example, when did the temperature first reach 19 degrees? Well, along the temperature axis there, we can see that 15 is marked and 20 is marked. And counting the units between that, we find that 19 is right there. So measuring across from the 19 and then down, we can see that it occurs at 12 noon. A third question, by how much did the temperature rise between 6 a.m. and 3 p.m.? Well, let's find out what the temperature was firstly at 6 a.m. So reading up, then across, 7 degrees. Then at 3 p.m., reading up and across, we can see 20 degrees. So what was the rise? Well, it started at 7 and it rose to 20. So from 7 to 20 is a rise of 13 degrees Celsius. Finally, we need to estimate the temperature at 7 p.m. Well, we can see from our graph there that 6 p.m. and 9 p.m., that's the temperatures they were recorded at those times. But we don't know exactly what happened between those times. But to estimate it, 7 p.m. would be there. So measuring up and across, we can see that 12 degrees Celsius would be a good estimate for that temperature at that time. Terrific. Well, that concludes the lesson. I'm sure you'll enjoy your work on line graphs.